Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the third video related to uh, table view. And in this video, we're going to do a couple things. First, we're going to create a custom class about the store. And uh, we, will dis we will have a custom cell instead of just the this, uh, this cells that are provided by Xcode. All right, so let's go ahead and create the first class. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a class that represents the store. So we're going to do file, new, file, and then we do Coca Touch class. And here we don't use table view or UI view, uh, UI, view, uh, UI view controller. We will use something else. We'll use NS object. And then we want to call this as store. Okay. And we click on next. All right. And then click create. Now the store is an empty class. I already have a store class instead of retyping everything. So I'm going to copy it and I'll explain to you what you need to do. Okay. All right. This is a store class. I'm going to copy all of this and we'll paste it here. All right. What do we have in this store? In this store, I have a few attributes. We have store name, description, phone number, latitude, longitude, and store image name. These we will use later on. Okay. The latitude and longitude are used for the map. Okay. So we will place it. We'll place the store on a map, and the image is the icon of that store. Now, because you have an attribute here, you need to provide an initializer. Now, this is an initializer called, this is a default initializer. So if you don't provide anything, we'll assign it to blank. And we have a non-default initializer here, which you need to pass the following information. You'll pass the name of the store, the description of the store, the phone number, the latitude, the longitude, the image, uh, URL and then we assign the attributes of the we assign the attributes of the of the class store name to the names that is being passed to us the description to the description that's being passed to us and so forth so we have this class next what we're going to do now we need to go back to the uh, store list and instead of having this array now we're going to do bar store list again but instead of doing this we're going to make it equal to and then we're going to make it an array of remember what is the what is the what is the class name store and it's an empty array, okay? So now I have an array, and that array contains an array of stores, objects. So in the view that load, we want to create these objects and add them to the array. Now if I say let, well, let's say var store equal store, then I create it. Now I have, I can create it using this way. Okay, so if I say store one, uh, and the description, it's electronic store. All right, and then we the phone is five 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 five. No matter. The latitude, I'm going to put, we'll change this later on. I'm just going to put any values for now. And then the longitude is, these are somewhere in Dubai. Okay. And then the image, I'm going to be, it'll be empty for now. Okay. Well, we have an image. Let's just make it logo.jpg. Okay. All right, so after I create the object, what do you do? But, oh, okay, I didn't catch that. <laughs> it is var. And then what do we do? We add it to the array. So I say store list. All 
list and equal plus equal means I'm going to add to it the, the object that I just created, which is store. Okay. All right. So now I have one store in the array. You can do the same thing. I'll just change a few information. Okay. And now because store is already defined, I don't need to define it again. And now I'm creating another object. And then this will be store two. And I want to call it, this is food store. And this is different number. This will come back to these later on. Okay, I'll just make it 55. We're getting different addresses here. Okay, and then we add it again. And then we do the same thing here. Command copy, command V. Now, additionally, ideally, this comes from the, you know, like if either coming from a data store that you have uh, like core data in your device, or it'll come from where it comes from the internet, you download it, and then you, uh, you display it on your device, you display, you load it from the, from a web server somewhere, okay? Okay, this is store three. And this is a car shop. Okay, car store, or let's say toy store. And uh, toy store, and then you have, let's get a different number here. Okay, and then that's it. That's all. We leave those again. Now, I don't know, we're getting an error. I don't know why we have an error here. Store compiler error. Oh. All right, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get to this in a minute. So what I've done is that I've created, uh, I've created these, uh, I've created these uh, objects, adding them to the array. So I have in the object, I have three arrays. I three, I'm sorry, in the array, I have three stores. Now, in the load, instead of loading this, now I'm going to get the object first from the array and then assign it based on what's in that object. So you say here, let s equal, um, what was it, store list? I'll just copy it from here. Okay, so we'll get the object, and then we need to cast it as what? As... Not as a string here, but it is as what as store because now the objects stored in the array are stores. Okay, and then the last part here we will do. We don't need this anymore. But what we need to do is we'll say store or s the object that we got from the array. And remember, I have store name is one. And for the description, I'll get store s dot store description. And then from the from the image logo, again, instead of that, it will be s dot store uh, image name. All right. Okay, now let's try it. That should work. Now, if we run it, you'll see what happens. I got three. And where did I get these from? I got them from the array, the objects. Those are my objects from the array. And if we add another one, guess what? It will appear on the store. So ideally, this would be like coming from the net. And all you do, once you got the data, you display it just like I did. You create the objects. The objects will be already created and stored in the array. And then you just simply display them in the array. All right, store four, one last one. And this is going to be a pet store. And this is special store, zero, zero, zero. Because I have, you probably heard my cat meowing behind me. <laughs> so I got that. And uh, get different latitude and longitude. I don't have a cat logo, but we would have if we had one. Okay, and then 
All right, three zero zero. Okay, and hit compile B. Now, if you load it, you'll get four stores. All right, store four, pet store, and that's the idea. I'm gonna stop in this video. Actually, I'm gonna create two videos for the custom sales because the custom sales is gonna take us a while. So I'm gonna make it two videos instead of one. Okay, so I'll stop here and then I'll see you in the next one here and shortly.